The universe is a limitless fractal, made basically out of a limitless number of inestimable blasts, known as minimal enormous bangs. Assuming you counsel the science course reading distributed before 2006, you will see that Pluto was incorporated as one of the nine planets in our sun-powered framework. Anyway, this is as of now not the case. Very nearly a long time back, the worldwide galactic units reimagined Pluto's status and barred it as a planet. Now the AIU is once more discussing this issue since NASA has given clear pictures of Pluto, now considered a Bantam planet. Go along with us on a journey to the furthest reaches of our sun-powered framework to investigate the main pictures of Pluto in our set of experiences. In the event that you're keen on staying up with the latest with news from the universe and its environmental elements, buy into our channel. Be sure to like this video, share it to contact more individuals, and turn on the notification chime. We've come a long way since the notable Apollo 11 mission. In any case, the boundlessness of room presents quite a large number of unanswered inquiries. This is where NASA's pivotal James Webb Space Telescope project tries to find a universe of its own. This stupendous undertaking expands on NASA's past missions, and there is extraordinary interest in interpreting exceptional disclosures from ancient times. We are justifiably inquisitive to find out more about the enormous detonation and how our sun-based framework came to hold life on one of its planets. The James Webb Telescope, however, had sides set on the future of our sun-powered framework, altering our comprehension. Despite the fact that finding out whether is significant, we really want to think back for conclusive replies about our universe and perhaps re-examine them. The Pluto question has been the subject of debate in the field of space investigation because of the James Webb Telescope and the disclosures that it has given. We have an ever-increasing amount of data to investigate our planetary group. It appears that the $10 billion interest in NASA has prompted an update of marked course readings to incorporate all that we are familiar with. Pluto, this time, is probably going to recover illustrative status. Here's the reason. Our insight about Pluto doesn't end with the disputable AIU choice in 2006. Truth be told, it is the new and re-established capabilities of the James Webb that have given the pictorial proof needed to reinforce our hypothetical comprehension of this putative planet. In spite of the fact that it was accepted that past perceptions had served to sort which articles are thought of as planets and which are not, actually, the association had minimal strong information on which to depend. The pictures and rules utilized for this arrangement might have been sketchy. After the choice in 2006, two unique logical situations on the issue arose. Some accepted that the AIU was hurried in pronouncing Pluto a diminutive person planet while others immediately embraced the new non-planetary status. Most space explorers have stayed unsure on the matter. Anyway, because of the intriguing disclosures of the James Webb, the topic of Pluto's status stays. The first sharp picture of Pluto given by NASA is redefining how we might interpret vast history. The first and essential human experience with Pluto was directed by the New Horizon mission, which has been in progress for a considerable length of time. In July 2015, the mission accomplished its objective by passing near Pluto and its many moons. This was whenever people first had the option to get a nearby glance at the space artifact and gathered the most thorough information set to date about its moons and surface. The New Horizon missions open up an exceptional opportunity for NASA in its investigation of the Kuiper Belt, a profound area of room the organization knew about the need to acquire a scientifically solid comprehension of the planets that lie between Neptune's circle and roughly 50 galactic units from the Sun. The primary accomplishment of the mission was the nitty-gritty investigation of Pluto, presently thought to be a Bantam planet, and its biggest satellite, Charon. However, it too figured out how to catch clear pictures of the four different satellites known as Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx. Over a time of 15 months, the mission gathered information, including the experience with Pluto and Charon, adding up to 6.25 gigabytes. What does this information mean for NASA corresponding to the Bantam planet? First, the discoveries were so earth-shattering that researchers needed to foster new information. Models to better grasp Pluto's surface and the air conditions. It was found that the Bantam planet was going through huge changes in its surface and air. Plainly, Pluto was a long way from being a torpid body. However, it was developing at a rate that shocked NASA and tested what was previously accepted about this putative planet. The New Horizons mission was pivotal, and its experience with Pluto occurred almost a long time back. 
From that point forward, the field of space investigation has seen emotional upgrades through mechanical intervention. With the tryout of the James Webb Space Telescope, the potential outcomes are becoming interminable. One could try and say that we are getting increasingly close to a total comprehension of our planetary group. It is something you hear only very rarely. Yet, with the JWST, we are bridging the hole between what we know and what we might actually be aware of. Anyway, this is an issue with missions like New Horizons and any choices to investigate planets farther from the Sun. The issue lies in the prioritization of assets. As researching millions to research a scientifically significant planet might bring up issues about the presence of conceivable living things elsewhere. Why head to the edges of the nearby planet group? These are challenging questions to be sure. However, the New Horizons mission marked a defining moment throughout the entire existence of space investigation. Not just did it open new roads for NASA to put resources into the investigation of Pluto, but it also piqued our interest in further investigation beyond the known limits. Regarding Pluto, its review is key to building a more extensive scientific comprehension of other little planets. In spite of the fact that it lies in a cool, dark region of the universe, the main pictures of its surface demonstrated noteworthy enough to uncover that Pluto is an active object in our planetary group. As is commonly said, a picture is worth 1,000 words, and these perfectly clear pictures from NASA give us valuable information. First, Pluto was found to show some care. Most land peculiarities on this diminutive person planet are driven from its center, scientifically known as Sputnik. Shockingly, it just so happens Pluto in a real sense depends on its instinct. A quick look at NASA's high-resolution pictures uncovered that this heart is white, virus, and almost frozen. As the left vento of Sputnik's heart looks like a tremendous nitrogen glacier, spreading over great many square kilometers. One more eminent geologic component of Pluto's surface is that the entrance of its turn has gone through a critical reorientation, what researchers call a precision process. This was unknown to NASA before the mission. The midget planet's basin is in the inverse position than anticipated. This reorientation has significant ramifications for grasping the elements and development of Pluto as a planet. In straightforward terms, the tidal axis between the moon Charon and Pluto is being impacted by Sputnik Planitia, the core of the midget planet. This impact has reoriented Pluto so that its basin is all the more closely lined up with the tidal axis something that was not previously known. We have always known that this ancient planet is dreadful for clear reasons. However, what was not known is that Pluto's icy surface likewise makes a slant due to the unevenness in its mass. The core of the heart of the D planet is a four kilometers thick layer of ice, which is scientifically adding to that giant mass. When combined with tides, this cycle can cause the reorientation of the planet's pivot axis looking for harmony on its own circle. However, the ice sheet alone isn't sufficient to produce a steep reorientation point or to deliver significant hefts. As we referenced previously, technologically supported investigations can change our vast history, and this is simply such a moment. Researchers have also found that Pluto is a world with an expanse of its own underneath its thick ice sheets and ice-covered surface. Pluto's interior contains an extensive sea that also impacts the reorientation of its rotation axis. This revelation is unprecedented due to multiple factors, yet most importantly, because it completely changes how we might interpret the planet. The very likely presence of a sea in Pluto's covering implies that we will have more information about its origin and how it's shaped. What do you think? Let us know in the comments box. Assuming you like the video, make sure to stir things up around town button, share it so it contacts more individuals, and subscribe so you don't pass up more happy like this one. Many thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the following one.